television. Pictures have always been a major staple of my life. And television informs and keeps me clapping. But the greatest thrill I get is from not a flick or a TV set. No, it's being there, where something that's live is about to happen. There's nothing like a live performance. There's nothing like a show in the flesh. There's nothing like just kicking way back in your seat. Waiting for those lights to dim, waiting for that treat. And someday when we're reminiscing, we'll raise a toast and praise the moments we shared and say, you know, I was there that night. Oh, I saw that show. Oh, what a game, what a fight, what a game, what a glow. Well, there's nothing like a live performance. Just the way we're all together here tonight. Now, it was a very sad day when I left Lone Tree. There was just this elm tree, the elm white came through, killed the tree, the town died, and the three families moved away. <laughs> well, we moved into Des Moines where I discovered boys and, and chocolate and, and films, uh, just about in that order. And then when I graduated from high school, my parents bought me luggage and suggested I move east. <laughs> now, you see how things have changed. Now they say graduated high school, graduated college. I said graduated from high school. What happened to from? I mean, when I was a young person, I was personally judged as to whether or not I could recite the prepositions. In, on, into, over, under, to, at, by, for, from, of, off, up, down, near, past, like that. And then my mother thought I should learn the books of the Bible just as a literary reference if for no other reason. So I did. I learned Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuels, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Isaiah, Jeremiah, like that. You know, I was thinking the other day, I thought, why don't they teach us something we could use, like how to file for a divorce? <laughs> I, I spent most of my adult life in, in New York City, so I got to see some great theater, as you probably have too. I got to see Judy at the Palace, and I saw uh, Marlena on Broadway. I saw Martin Fontaine do The Visit. I saw Laurence Olivier do Shakespeare. I saw Donnie and Marie. I mean, the whole family. Yeah. Are they still living? Oh, oh, that's right. They're living. Their show died. That's what happened. Those other people are gone, though. And it got me to thinking about tonight, you know, and I thought, you know, in another week or a month or a year or five years, ten years, you're going to be kicking back with your friend there and saying, remember that kind of windy night we went down to Danny's and saw Claiborne Carey? Wasn't that a great evening? Oh, my God! Listen, I think I can or his decoupage. <laughs> Whether it's the ring in Vegas, the music hall gymnasium or bar, it's something that you wanted enough to propose. You made a decision and don't always close. You left your home and comfort to do what you chose. No, there's nothing I can buy. See me tonight. Thank you. So much.